hello friends and fellow Disney fans. Welcome back to the Jamie Thomas Show. Today on the show, we are boarding our cruise to Alaska out of the port of Vancouver, having lunch at Tiana's, touring our staterooms, checking out Edge and Vibe with the kids, attending the sail away party, checking out all of the merch that is specific to Alaska, dinner at Triton's, and had some trivia at D Lounge. So if you want to come along with us for our first day on this Alaskan cruise, stick around. Jamie. Oh, hey. Is it interactive? Yeah, it is. Look, watch all my Oh, cool. You can like read different things. There's also little artifacts and things like that. It's kind of an interesting port. We ready to go? We're ready yeah. to go. Let's go. High fives to the Mickey hand, everyone. <laughs> Hello. the boarding processes we've ever done. That was the easiest. Thank you. Not the best angle, but we're going on. When is the invade the lab at I don't the ocean here? Not sure, bud. Lyndon, this is Lyndon's first trip with his own uh, phone. It's actually our phone, but he's looking at all the activities and uh, being pretty excited about Edge. This is your first time going to Edge, right? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I wonder if you're gonna spend more time at the kids' club or at Edge. Oh, since it's my first time, definitely Edge. Yeah, you think so? But it is your last time at the kids' club, too. Actually, technically, next trip will be your last time. So this is our first time sailing out of the Port of Vancouver. I would say it's probably the simplest process of getting on the ship, most organized. I'd say it actually beats out Port Canaveral as far as general ease. If you are planning on doing an Alaska cruise, one of the definite perks. What's your family name? Thomas Kelleher. <laughs> it's Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Is it his cute 25th anniversary outfit, Paris? So we're gonna go grab some lunch at Tiana's here because we figured Cabanas is gonna be bananas. I'm good with not having to carry lots of plates in Cabanas. Paris, are you excited about Tiana's? We're gonna get some gumbo? Maybe. Yeah, I don't think it's my thing. This is the lunch menu. I'm going back and forth between the penne pasta and the sliced roasted beef sirloin. How about you? Yeah, the beef sirloin sounds pretty good. I know. Karis, what are you getting? I'm gonna get the penne pasta and then this uh, chicken potato soup with soda bread. The soup sounds good. Yeah. Nolan, what you getting? Mickey and mac and cheese. Oh, pasta. The pasta? Nice. So when you get on the ship, everyone rushes up to, what's the name of the? Cabanas. Up to Cabanas. Probably your best bet to actually check out which restaurant is open for lunch because the place is empty, it's relaxing. It's a much nicer environment, I think, for your first day on the cruise. What do you think, Jamie? Totally. <laughs> I was not listening to what you were saying. But you know what? I'm looking at the beef empanadas and that kind of sounds good to you. Yeah. And this is how empty the restaurant is when you first get on. Much better than Cabanas. <laughs> Chaos. Well, Jamie, what do you got there? Okay, so I have the beef empanada. Where's my food? It's coming. Girl. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. I, wonder I took a video of ours, fine. Mm. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Awkward. Have you tried your lead soup? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> Jamie's taking pictures of everyone's food now. He got the, ooh, what is that? Prime rib. Prime rib. That was awesome. And then Kara's got the penne pasta like me. Hers has the goat cheese on it. Hey, how cute is this 25th anniversary cheesecake with the little, oh, that's awesome. And then look at this, 100th anniversary Mickey bar. So cool. Well, we just made it to our room and we are in a deluxe ocean view with veranda. Just gonna kind of show it to you real quick here before it gets messed up by all of us and the kids going crazy. But let's check this out. So starting off, like so many of the cabins on the Disney Cruise Line, we've got the split bathroom. So we have one with the commode, separated by a door to the one with the shower. So great for getting ready in the morning. Of course, you've got all of your places for storage, your lockbox here, tons of places to put all your clothes. You gotta absolutely love the decor, Mr. and Mrs. Walt Disney. And then here's kind of what the whole room looks like. Absolutely beautiful. 
So now you've got adjoining doors, so you can have cabins that are together if you book early enough, obviously. More decor that is Pirates of the Caribbean. Just love it. Tons more storage here. Let's check out the bed. Now the Disney Cruise Line beds to me are some of the comfiest beds I've ever slept on. Just awesome. Of course, you've got a nightstand on each side. Over on this side, you've got the couch that turns into a bed. Some more beautiful decor. Over here, you've got our TV, more storage and vanity just to get ready in the morning. And then finally, of course, you've got, and then finally you've got, of course, your veranda. <laughs> which is really on a Alaska cruise from what everyone says. This is a must have. So right now we've just got a view of the port of Vancouver. So nothing super exciting. Here's a veranda. How cute is all of this stuff for the Disney Cruise Line? New wet dry bag for the Castaway Club. Jamie's back. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Ooh. Ooh. It's like that fabric, you know, like a, oh, you guys don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. So is that 25th anniversary? anniversary? Oh, it is. Yeah. Look at these. How fun are those? And now we're showing you an inside stateroom that the girls are staying in. Yeah, Show the big it. difference between ours and obviously we have a veranda, but the inside stateroom is only going to have the one bathroom instead of a split bathroom. So yeah. let's go check it out. <laughs> It's the, obviously, as Jamie just said, the difference is it's not a split bath. It's all one in the same. You got your tub, shower, your commode, your little vanity area. Good size, again, for a cruise ship. You got all of your storage here for all your stuff, just like every other yeah, room. Same amount as a regular room. Yeah. And you got the TV. This room sleeps three, so this bed will pull down in the evening. No upper berth. And then here's the bed. The thing I love about the layout of this room is when you come in, it's so wide open because you have the living space here, and then you walk into the bed in the back. Yeah, it just feels more open. Yeah. It, it's really nice totally. having it like you're kind of shimming around the bed. It looks really pretty. I love it. I love this too. You got your nightstands on either side of the bed. Looks very luxurious, very, I don't know, stately, shipley. And then of course over here you have your other vanity for getting ready in the morning. Little place to sit. The girls are gonna love that. And again, it kind of depends on your personality. With the Alaska cruise, so much to see out of your veranda, but it stays bright bright really late into the night and gets bright really I've early in the morning. I've heard it's only like a few hours of darkness. darkness. So as far as sleep, this is like a cave. So you can, it just depends what you're after when you're on this cruise. When it comes down to there's no bad place. No, there there is none. And so it, uh, it's about preference and what's best for your family. Check this out. Someone left a little pirate Mickey on the door. How cool is that? A little secret. So now we're gonna go check out the kids clubs and have some different activities, check out the sail away party. So come along. We found them. Time for some ice cream, Jamie. Ice cream! Ice cream's always the best part about it. Ice cream's always the best part about it. The best part of a cruise, according to Lyndon, is the ice cream. So the family all got ice cream, and now we're heading to check out Vibe. The best cone maker, not that you can see that anymore, but. Are you the best? Yeah. No, yours was the most impressive, I'll say that. I also work at McDonald's, so it's not really. Yeah, <laughs> it's in your skill set. This way, guys. Vibe. favorite kid zone because it has Mario and Pac-Man. Awesome. We're introducing Karis to Guitar Hero. It's going great. <laughs> oh, she got it! Red! Unfortunately, my guitar does not work, so she's killing me. Let's... Guitar Hero in Vibe. Eh? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like our youth, youth pastoring days. This is Pac-Man. Oh no, we're playing Galaga. Galaga. That's some old school gaming right there. Oh, Pac-Man's a better game. When it's playing. Disney Wonder, let me hear you make some noise! Sail away. 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 Sail away.
Jamie, what do you think? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Amazing. <laughs> so we just got back from Sail Away Party. Awesome, 25th anniversary. Super yep. fun. The characters were all in their little outfits. Super cute. And they had the special like silver anniversary sea song. Yeah, it was quick. It's fun. For this cruise, given the unbelievable stuff you're looking at, Brad is pretty sweet. Oh, that is cute, actually. I know. Harris is trying on a little plaid jacket for Alaska. I think it looks cute with your hat on. Harris got this Alaska blanket. How much was it, Harris? It was uh, $24.99. With a purchase of $60. 60, yeah. You can't get it unless you purchase $60 worth. Yeah, and it's you. crazy soft. Like it the is. other side is like a nice uh, Sherpa. Like, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I like almost just want that as a souvenir. <laughs> That's why that, I was like, this yeah. is a no brainer for me. That's so nice. I love that. And then I bought a cork board. I know that sounds like really weird, but we have tons of pins that we display at home. And I tried to make one of these and I really didn't succeed because the cork is kind of coming apart. This was $39 and it comes with some pins to use. So I figured that was just like the perfect way to display uh, some pins at home. And then also we got this for Brad. We'll see if he likes it. It's the jacket for Alaska. Super cute. And I might even steal it a little bit. So I thought we could kind of share a little bit. We'll see. Maybe Brad won't like it. Who knows? Okay, Jamie, what do you have in here? Okay, this is the brief. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of it. It's okay, you can take a picture of mine. I haven't cut mine. This is the brief. This is like your favorite thing, hey? This is absolutely one of Jamie's favorite dishes. Brie cheese. All right, Karis, what did you get? Uh, so I got, I don't know what exactly what it's called, but it's like some sort of duck. First bite. Why does it look so much like mommy? No, not a fan. Mommy's eating oh, what? <laughs> 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 I hate that. Okay, well, maybe you should try the past. Oh, mommy roast mine. Maybe it's mine. Jamie, what was your take? It just tastes like turkey, but like maybe a little bit more gamey, I would say. It's kind of gamey, too. That's kind of the gameyness. Do you want to try my ravioli? What kind of ravioli is this? This is wild mushroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad for the fun appetizer. <laughs> this is the... The rack of lamb. Oh yeah, that's why we made the lamb sound. Uh, the rubber stuff looks kind of good. <laughs> Thank you so much. She was adventurous and it came back to bite her. Do you want to try just a bite? I think you might like it. Actually, this is really exciting. Let's make her eat something else that she doesn't know about. All right, Karis. Try lamb. This is so funny. Okay, and I got a new one. Okay, Brad, let's uh, see what your right. salmon is. It looks good. Yeah. It looks really good. I do love salmon to begin with. Mm -hmm. 
Stop it. Oh, yeah. So the menu at Triton's is actually not my favorite menu for the entrees, but I would say it's appetizers and it's desserts are amongst my favorite on the entire ship. Our servers gave us a puzzle. We're trying to figure it out right now. You have to make four triangles. These things always make me feel really dumb because I know it's something easy. <laughs> it makes everybody, it makes everybody feel like we have a tiny Oh brain. my gosh, wait, wait, wait. wait so we're wait, supposed to wait. move one crayon and it makes four triangles. Jamie, you got your creme brulee there? Yeah. Pretty awesome, eh? It's really good. You love that every time. You always come back for more creme brulee. Okay, so the answer is this. Four triangle. It makes sense. I was close. You were on the right track, but it's still far off. Okay, I gotta show you how cute the uh, light holders are. Watch this. It's Sebastian. It's Sebastian. How awesome is that? We didn't win. 10 out of 20. Not bad. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed our first day on the Disney Wonder. Hopefully it got you excited about maybe the cruise you've got coming up or helped you start to dream about your next Disney adventure on a cruise ship. And if you would like some help planning your next Disney vacation, why not take a moment and uh, contact this girl. She is a travel agent who specializes in Disney vacations. Best of all, when you book with her, her services are completely free, not only free, but she offers up to $1,000 in onboard credit when you book through her. That's right, and you can contact me via email, jamiethomasshow at gmail.com, or through the website, www.clickthemouse.ca slash jamiequote. Make sure to take a moment and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.